Hey everyone, it's Brandon at Westcott. Today we're gonna go over how you set up the Westcott X-Drop. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the base of the X-Drop stand out. Now this is very similar to a light stand or a tripod. It has three legs. And we're going to go ahead and tighten this blue center ring. And we're going to extend all three legs of the X-Drop. Once those three legs are extended, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the ground. And then we're going to get the three posts and they can go into any hole that you'd like on the top. They will only fit one way. You'll actually see on the base, there is a little groove in one side of the post. That will actually go towards the front of the X-Drop. So this is the back. And once those three posts are in, you'll go ahead and you'll actually go grab your X-Drop background. Once I have the X-Drop background in hand, I will find the top, and the top has the three grommets punched in it. Here's the top. Notice I have one, two, three. Those will go on each of the hooks. And then the bottom two grommets actually go on the hooks on the base of the stand. So once you have all the grommets attached to the hooks of the top arms and the bottom arms, you simply go to the back of the X-Drop. You'll release this little lever and extend each of the arms. When you're extending each of the arms, the center one does not extend all the way. In fact, the center one, when it is extended all the way, can create a really nasty crease in your background that's really undesirable for a photo and video. So the outer ones, extend those all the way. The center one, increase it until you see the front of the background is really nice and flat. And that's the way you'll know you have it set up properly. Now, the final thing, if you are in a tighter space and you wanna save some space on this back leg, that blue ring that we spoke about earlier, that actually helps you narrow the profile of the X-Drop system. You simply unscrew it so that it's loose. You actually slide that up. At the same time, you lower this back leg back into itself. And when you get it into an ideal position, you tighten that blue ring right back up. And this will generally save about two, two and a half feet of the profile of the X-Drop, and it's still very sturdy. So I hope you learned something today. Thanks so much for watching.